And good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Clay. I'm Elizabeth Alex. Tonight, relatives of a grandmother smashed by a pickup truck left lying in a gutter are asking for your help. They believe you can ease their mother's pain. Claire Seward explains. Mark, Kansas City police need tips. 66 year old Marilyn Leuven is a hit and run victim. She's alive tonight, but relatives want justice. Relatives say Marilyn Leuven is a homemaker, married 43 years and counting. She cooks everything from scratch, loves being independent. So every morning, Leuven walks these South Kansas City streets for exercise. But this morning, a stranger's pickup broke Leuven's ribs, fractured her pelvis, knocking her into intensive care at Research Hospital. It's an unsolved hit and run. We're hurting. He hit our mother. She's our mother. She's a grandmother. She's a sister. She Leuven's daughters want justice. They also want to meet the Good Samaritans who helped their mom survive. She said she woke up and, and these two wonderful people were over her telling her just to lay still. She was right there in front of the civil car. Willie Clay witnessed the crash through his front door. He I heard a big boom. I would look out and I looked. The lady was in the air in the pickup truck here. Had just hit her. Clay says a silver pickup driving on the wrong side of Manchester smashed into Leuven from behind. Already shocked and surprised, Clay says what the driver did next was appalling. And he just looked back and drove off. That was something else. Clay says the suspect was in an American made 1980 silver pickup with damage on its front driver's side. Clay didn't get a license plate because he and his wife were calling 911 and comforting Leuven until help arrived. Yeah, that's my duty as a human being. Thank you for help, Thunder Dog. Oh, I'm glad to be able to help. Tonight, Leuven's daughters thank Clay. They say without his concern, this homemaker may be in worse shape. And tonight, doctors expect Leuven to be in the hospital for a while, then in a wheelchair for at least three months. Meanwhile, police are looking for tips. So if you know anything about this crime, you're asked to call the police tips hotline. That number, 816-474-TIPS. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.